guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin and today we are ranking all of the palettes I use in October. I'm using two hands to try to even keep the stack up right and not falling right now. I don't know how I use so many palettes in October. I used more than I normally do, but here we are um, and I'm gonna rank them for you guys. So if that sounds good, keep on watching. Before we get too far into the video, please consider clicking that subscribe button. I upload twice a week, it's totally free to subscribe and I would love to have you back on the channel. All right, let's get into the ranking. So I tried 11 palettes this month. And when I say tried, if you're new to my ranking, sometimes they're new palettes I just got. Um, sometimes they're old palettes and I just wanna see how they rank up the old faves with the new news, you know? So I will, as always, leave linked in the cards if I have any other videos I have done and filmed with these palettes. I'm more so talking about the palettes today, but if you wanna see them in action, check out the links. Like I said, anything I've done looks with will be there. All right, so starting with number 11, this would be my least favorite palette of the month, is the Serenity palette from uh, Cosmic Brushes. So yeah, guys, I'm kind of, I'm not gonna lie, I'm regretting this purchase as of right now. I will say I haven't used it again since I filmed it. I just didn't really love it when I filmed with it. I don't know, it's not, it's not even that it was bad or performed poorly, it was just disappointing. It was like overhyped in my mind. The shimmers were just okay, the mattes were fine. I don't know, I did more, I wanted to do a purple look in that video, it turned out quite blue. So maybe I need to play with the greens and get a little more inspired by this, but right now I'm just not feeling inspired whatsoever by it and haven't wanted to reach for it again. So that's why I'm, I'm ranking it the bottom one this month. I know some of you ordered this though when I did that video, so hopefully I'm wrong. <laughs> like don't get discouraged, don't be like, you know, not looking forward for your purchase and be like, oh man, before you've even gotten it and tried it yourself, you may love it. Number 10 is the Beauty Bay Wilderness palette. I actually did enjoy this one when I did my look with it. So it's not for the same reason as number 11. Um, part of my ranking though is just like, what am I reaching for the most? Cause to me that says a lot about it. And I also haven't reached for this one since I filmed it, but I do feel like I vibe with this color story more. Um, I did something kind of like mustardy and greeny in that look. I will leave that linked as well, but I just haven't gone back to it yet again. I am I really don't know why. There's nothing wrong with it. I like this one so much that it made me go pull other Beauty Bay palettes that I owned because I remembered how much I liked the formula. I don't know what it is, especially it's such a perfect fall time for this one. I it just, I don't know. The other ones I reached for it, I, the other ones I reached for more. I can't really explain it to you, but just out of what I used this month, that one ended up at 10. At number nine, we have from Midas Cosmetics, their, artist, their Artistry Palette Volume 2. Ugh. And I do like this one a lot. I just, again, only reached for it once. And it is a little smaller, doesn't have as many options, but it's really nice. Um, this brand no longer, mm, I don't wanna say they didn't, they don't exist because it sounds like they are gonna come back just rebranded, but they were like closed for a time. So I don't believe you can get this one anymore, but if you do have it, maybe here's your reminder to pull it out and use it some, because I did enjoy it a lot when I used it. By the way, I should have prefaced this video with, if you're sitting there a bit like, girl, it ain't even the end of October yet. I, I know, I realize, <laughs> but, it's, it's close enough that I'm like, okay, it's towards the end of the month. Like I have other things lined up. I know I want to film. So I wanted to make sure I got this one in because I do love filming this video, ranking the palettes I've used every month. And I promise you, I just, I won't use any other palettes for the last few days of the month. I'll stick, I'll, you know, maintain and stay within these because I have been anyway. So I just won't add, you know, a 12th or a 13th or whatever. I'll wait till November to dip into something new and just keep going into these 11. So that's why it's a little early if you're wondering. And number eight is the Artist Couture Ethereal Bloom Palette. That's actually what I'm wearing today in this look. And that's the video I did um, right before this one. I like this. I think this is nice. I would really love to dip into like the purple and pink and some of the other shimmers. I, yeah, I had a great time working with the, the formula. Very nice. I do love the packaging on this a lot. The fact that it's like a magnetic clasp. I don't know, it just feels a little more luxurious rather than just regular plastic. I like the ombre look of the packaging. 
This is, yeah, I just liked it a lot. The only reason it's not ranked any higher is just because, again, I've only used it the one time. And even though I liked it, I haven't reached for it again since. And I just like the other stuff a little bit more that I played with this month. And number seven is the Not Like Other Girls palette. This is from Saint Angel Sinners. And this is, you know, like a quote from The Grateful Dead. And oh, this one, I think I've shown you guys this one before, I'm pretty sure. Purples and greens. My absolute favorite if you're new here, eyeshadows to wear. I like that there's a black that you can make it a little smokier. Um, or I've also done the Skulls and Roses shade that is very ethereal looking if you want something just light all over the lid. So I do, I do find there is some variety that you can go lighter or deeper with this palette, even with it only being six pans. And yeah, Saint Central Center is just, it's a really, really lovely, lovely formula. I haven't met a palette from their range that I didn't like. So if you haven't checked them out, they're on Etsy. You can find their Instagram page. And yeah, I really like this one a lot. It's just not ranked any higher because it is kind of limited to those two colors, um, which of course it is, you know, all pretty much all six pans are like that. I don't think I'll ever have a month where I rank a uh, palette small like this is my number one just because I do like a little variety but I do like small palettes too. I'll leave a link to my video where I talk about my favorite like mini little palettes in my collection. Number six from Kaleidos, the Club Nebula. Yes, I believe this was ranked number one last month. I'll leave my playlist of my monthly rankings listed as well if you're interested in seeing any of the other months that I ranked. Uh, let me take the plastic out to show you. I always keep the plastic in here and have to be careful because my Firefly shade up here, the green one, is a little cracked and broken. And I do not want it to fall out because this is limited edition and I would maybe actually cry if that happened. I love this palette so much. I still love it. There's not anything wrong with it that it's ranked lower. I just had some uh, new things come into my collection this month that wait I played with them more than this one right this is like an old favorite I'll come back to it but I was enjoying the new new this month rather than an old favorite and number five from Menagerie Cosmetics is the Feral palette yeah guys after I filmed with this one I didn't put it away I really really liked it uh, Wes and I went recently to the Renaissance Festival in Ohio and I wore this to kind of like an ethereal like fairy well I guess it wasn't a fairy it was kind of like a fairy makeup with like I had like elven ears <laughs> so it's a little combination of things but I love this palette I love this color story so much I love the combination of brighter colors with grungier deeper tones at the same time it's just a cool juxtaposition to me um, I believe this palette is discontinued now maybe they have a few in stock but even if they don't have the palette in this form, I'm pretty sure they still have the singles, so you could get some single shades. I really love the two shimmers, Pack Leader and Wolfling in this palette, those two shimmers. They are kind of like duo chromey, like it's a peach to a pink, and then the other one is kind of like, oh, how would I even describe it? I don't know, uh, a gold to a pink maybe? I'm not really sure how I would describe it, but it's got a flip and it's cool. So yeah, the Feral palette, I've been still loving that one and I love how heavy duty and luxurious this looks. And I've told you before, the artwork, so cool. I mean, we gotta really appreciate. That's just majestic. There's no other word for it. It's, it's lovely. So yeah, that one, that one I was kind of, I don't know. I don't wanna say I was surprised, but for as long as I put it off, I didn't think it would end up being this high in my ranking, and it, it is. It's really a really nice quality product. Okay, and number four is an old favorite. It is the Pizza Kitty palette. You guys, I love this palette. I had this still left out from when I did my top 10 palettes in my entire collection video within the past like month or two. I'll leave that linked as well. And I just hadn't played with it in a while, and I saw it sitting out from that video and was like, you know, this is one of my favorite palettes in my collection. I should play with it again. So I think when I used it recently, I played with um, 
rocket fuel and what else did I use I think it was either taco cat or intergalactic per the theming and the names are part of the reason that this is a favorite the sugar drizzle formula is really nice applies really well with a brush has the type of shimmer formula that I really really love and yeah I get compliments pretty much every time I wear this I wore this to work and I had a little fifth grader that was like do you do your own makeup <laughs> it's the youngest grade I teach so I'm meeting them for the first time in, in uh, fifth grade and yeah it's just always funny to me when I don't know I like people that know me who haven't have known me for a while know I do my own makeup but it's always just like Something that's even a bigger compliment, I guess, for some reason when it's a little kid, because you can just tell they're aspiring to be like, ooh, I can't wait till I'm old enough that I can wear makeup type situation, if that makes any sense. But yeah, I just love this palette and I don't see it being not loved anytime in the future. All right, the top three. Are we ready? I don't know. Okay, and number three, the Blend Bunny Cosmetics Surge Palette. Ooh, yes. So I actually pulled this out because I was looking for um, like a deepening up shade and this has some nice colorful deep mattes but then you know it was already out and a different day I used like some of the pastels and I used some of the shimmers now I know that this is the shimmer formula like the old shimmer formula and apparently people say they like the dollhouse shimmer formula better and I think she has said that when she gets rid of all of her inventory of the original surges and orders more that she will be updating the formula to be that formula I don't see anything wrong with this formula I think it's great for the shimmers so I'm kind of curious now to try the newer formula the all done up palette she just came out with looks really great but again trying to be good trying not to purchase trying to wait to hold off use what I have all of those things but I'm enjoying this in the meantime. I think the only row I haven't tried is the neons. I don't know how much I'll actually reach for the neons, I'm not gonna lie, but this all was enticing enough to me without the neon row that I still wanted to get it. But you never know, sometimes I have a random day like today where I wanna play with uh, orange and blue and purple in the middle of October or the end of October, I guess. So it could happen, but yeah, I can attest and, and add to the list of people saying that this is, seems to be a really, really nice brand. I haven't heard anybody say anything negative about Blend Bunny Cosmetics. Great indie brand. Love this one. In number two, this might surprise you all. I'm not going to lie. Remember when I said uh, the Willner's palette made me pull out from Beauty Bay other stuff I had? Yeah, one of those was the collab they did with Nikki Tutorials. This palette. Yeah, and I think I had this. I'll leave it linked in my... Uh, favorite larger palettes in my collection yeah I played with this actually a lot this month a lot a lot now I can tell this one's a little older than the wilderness one because I think the shimmers are starting to get a little more dry a little less putty like so I think also in my mind I was like oh I should use this because I don't want them to like dry out to the point that they're not usable anymore um and this one also has some shades like Zomer down here pinky you can use this blush too which is really nice um and i haven't tried it but i'm kind of interested to see if like basic fruit it's kind of a cool toned ish mm, close to neutral color that i wonder if i could use it as bronzer just to get some more purpose out of this but yeah this is nice i love the shimmers i think my favorite shade in the palette is this all in shimmer it looks kind of taupe but then when you put it on it's got like some green reflect in it it's so cool looking I, I just really love this palette and I know some people didn't like the formula, but it's probably my favorite palette I've ever tried from Beauty Bay, to be honest. I don't even know if you can get this one anymore, but I, I love Nikki. Her tutorials have taught me so much over the years about makeup and yeah, I'm just really grateful to have that one and I genuinely feel like it deserves the number two spot this month. And last but not least, in number one, we'll see who is, you know, my my real ones. Comment down below if you can think of a palette I've used this month or recently that I haven't put in the ranking yet. And that is this one because my favorite palette this month is the Spooked palette. This is from a brand I've never tried before, which... I still, you guys tried to help me in the comments. I know somebody commented because I was struggling to say the name and somebody was trying to help me. Um, 
and I still don't feel confident in saying it. Like, I need to practice it more. Um, I think it's gourmand is what I gathered from the comments, but I still could be butchering it. I don't know. I will try harder to get it down the right way. Um, but I think it's Gourmand Girls is the name of the brand. I'm sorry if I'm still saying it wrong, but they did a collab with Doodles by The Bunny and they made it the Spooked Palette. And I kind of went back and forth if I was gonna buy it for a while just because I am trying to limit my purchases. But this is such a cool, unique color story in my opinion and I love the theming. Guys, I love a themed embossing. Like Nomad gets me a lot with their themed embossing, but they've got pumpkins, they've got spiderwebs, bats, just like Halloween goodness. It kind of reminds me a little bit, speaking of Nomad, of like the Haunted palette, the Haunted Europe palette. They have fun embossings in that one too. I know they have like a tombstone and things like that. But this color story, like I'll leave link to the video I did with this. So cool. I don't think I've ever done like kind of like a smoky pinkish look like that. And I don't know, it's just unexpected for Halloween. Like you still have your typical orange, black, red, like Halloween colors that you would expect in a club. But it was just cool to get a twist with like the pink and the gold and like this like murky matte down here. Very, very cool. I'm pleasantly surprised. I mean, I guess it's not that I thought it would be bad. I just love it so much more than I thought I would. So this is number one this month for sure. And that is all the palettes I tried, guys, in the month of October. What was your favorite palette that you used this month? I'd be curious to know. Let me know in the comments what you have been loving lately. And yeah, it's going to be, I can't believe it, spooky season over very soon. I feel like, like we've just begun and it's already almost over. So yeah, a few more Halloween days and then we'll be shifting into, I mean, it's still fall for a while, right? In the US we celebrate Thanksgiving before Christmas. So there'll be a little more harvesty times to get into, but I will miss spooky season when it's over. I don't know what I'm doing yet for Halloween, actually the day of, I haven't really like thought about it. I know I have work, but I, I hope we are wearing costumes to school. I'm a teacher, if you guys don't know, and I do love when we get to wear costumes to school. So yeah, guys, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you again on the next one. Bye.